welcome to my channel. I am a second year med student and I enjoy making videos about anything related to being a med student and my other hobbies as well. For today's video, as you can see in the title below, I will be sharing with you my academic journey from being a medtech student to becoming an RMT and now being a medical student with a question in mind. So far, has it been worth it? If you are interested about this, then please keep on watching. But before anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification down below for more updates. So let's start. Disclaimer, this is from my personal experience and I just wanted to share with you my journey towards it. And sana may mapupulot kayong learnings and an overview on how it is. Help you through with the content in this video. I will be dividing it into three parts. It will be one is the medtech student years. Second is my review for board. Just a quick story about it. And then third is being a medical student so far. Let's start with the first one. My Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology years or being a medtech student at that time. I took my Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology in Siliman University, Dumaguete City. Back then, I was still so confused on what course should I take. My first course in mind is Bachelor of Science in Architecture due to my interest in drawing. And my dad really wanted me to become a doctor. And also years after, I later found out that I was not really good at math. <laughs> alam mo na alam na talaga na hindi talaga para sa iyo yung math. I based it on my performance ng high school and I found out that I was into science. Yun, nanalo dad ko. I assessed and talked about it with my parents on what is really a good pre-medical course. Ayun, sinadjust nila BS Nursing and BS Medical Technology. Why? Because at least naman, may backup ako in case I will withdraw from medicine. My license ako agad. I quickly chose MedTech because my mom is already a nurse and this course had ever so slightly piqued my interest in. The most exciting and thrilling about this journey was that I never thought that I would be going to Suleiman University. It was my graduation day and I really didn't know on what school will I enroll after all those entrance exams that I took. So ayun, sobrang confusing talaga. But alas, during my graduation party, my parents already went to Dumaguete City with the help of my uncle who convinced them to enroll me there. So, nung graduation party ko, my, my dad made a short video na pumunta sila doon. Somehow, they applied for me. Doon ko din discover na ako yung first applicant nila on that year. Bale, yung ID number ko, 14100001. So, ayun. Natuwa lang talaga ako na ako yung pinakaog na doon. Up until now, it still amazes me on how things turned out that way. So ayun, it was my first time to be away from my parents. And for the people who may not know, um, Pagatian, which is my hometown, to Dumaguete are around 7 to 8 hours by a car and a boat. Doon, I stayed in a dormitory named Edith Carson Hall for three years of my college life except for internship. It was tough personally because I was still so innocent at that time. Wang-wang, nilabas lang sa outside world para mag-aral. And ayun, my mom gave me a lot of things to remember. And my dad gave me a loving but strict rules to follow like calling them three times a day. Yeah, calling them three times a day. But naman, it won't hurt to break a few. Ayun, napapatawa na lang ako naisip ko yun kasi they were so strict at that time. I love my dorm life. I met a lot of friends, a lot of roommates kasi pa iba, -iba kami every year. And I met new friends, new colleagues, all from different provinces. And masaya din yung mga dorm activities. So in my journey as a medtech student, we only had one to two major subjects that time. Kasi puro minor subjects pa lang yun. And I especially enjoyed the moment. Di ko yun makakalimutan na nagsusuot na kami ng prestigious looking char white uniform, di ba? Tapos ilalagay pa yung mga nameplate dito tapos pipicturan-picturan pa yun as in sobrang nakakaano yun. Mga nostalgic feeling noon. The real struggle when you're in, I really felt that this course is not a joke was when I stepped in third year medtech. Bakit? Kasi puro na yun major subjects. So, we had parasitology, hematology, clinical chemistry, bacteriology, immunosero, blood banking, and clinical microscopy. And, ayun, may mga laboratory and lecture classes pa yun. So, halos full week kami. Sometimes may makeup classes from Saturday and Sunday, depende yun sa time. It was really challenging. It was really challenging for me. 
And doon nag-start talaga yung mga stress eating ko. And kahit hanggang presently. And lesser hours of sleep. I can still remember that I had a favorite spot back then sa dining hall. Namin sa dorm. And yun yun talagang study area ko. And we camped there along with my dining hall or dorm mates. So yun, shout out. Hello! <laughs> so ayun, sobrang convenient yun for me as a third year med tech student na naka-dorm ako because food was already prepared for us three times a day. Nasa dining hall ako, pagkapos ko ng aral doon, ando na yung food. So, hindi na ako magpo-problema kung anong ulam ko everyday. And academically speaking, I really tried my best to maintain my grades. I always aim that every start of the semester, every first long exam, basta every first exam, I will always ipon that grade. Mag-ipon ka talaga ng grade. Kasi as the semester progresses, hirap talaga yung mga exams. And yun yung isang technique ko din noon na I survived medtech. As in, mag-iipon ka talaga ng grade. Do not slack off kasi simula pa. Kasi maghirap talaga at the further exams. It's always best na makapaggawa ka ng paraan na mag-iipon ng points. And mangyari man na magkaroon ka ng mababang results, at least may backup ka na malaki yung grade mo no. First exam. And yes, kung tatanong nyo sa akin, may mga moving exams, of course, because we are born, we are studying to be in the laboratory. Kaya dapat may mga moving exam talaga kami. And there were a lot. Yun, I'm not perfect. I always try my best. If ever may mababang results ako, may pagsak ako, I try to change my methods and adapt learning habits that will benefit me. And also peer factor. Your peers, the people around you, yan din talaga will affect you. Kaya talaga, I love my barkadas and my batchmates. Kasama sila was the thing that I'm really thankful for. Kasi wala yung, wala yung toxic competition. And we always help each other in any way we could. And after that dreading year, internship came. I was assigned in Bohol sa Galiares, a public hospital. And Cebu, a private hospital sa Perpetual Support. Doon na talaga na-test yung skills ko. And new environment na naman. From Dumaguete, as Bolt, as Cebu. We have clinical instructors guiding us inside the lab, watching us. Tapos, whenever we are working, like they ask kung example. Oh, anong principle niyan? Anong principle ng machine niyan? Anong tinetest ng machine niyan? And anong mga normal values? Ganun. So, ayun, they will do rounds sa amin, mga interns. And they, they will ask questions if may natutunan ba kami sa mga ginagawa namin. Okay, in my experience in Bohol, sa Galiares, we have 16 hours shift and 18 hours shift. So, depende yun sa rotation namin. And then, sa Cebu, 8 hours na lang. And depende din yun sa extensions na nagagawa mo. Okay? And yes, nakakapagod talaga ang internship. Kasi may mga long exam kami, comprehensive pa yun, plus may duty pa. And natitest out talaga yun dun yung time management mo. And of course, your energy. At that time, I learned a lot from skills and theory and I gained new colleagues from different medtech schools. I learned to manage my time, my workload, academic, and social life. And also ito, medtech internship will also test your patience. Lalo na if your batchmates or your one of your colleagues a shift is lacking off and being lazy. And yun, dun mo talaga malalaman yung true colors nila and kung gaano sila ka-efficient as a partner. Tip ko lang talaga is to increase your patience and just work with them professionally. And of course, the funniest thing about being a medtech student is, and sana na yung super nakakaloka is the internship extensions. <laughs> Mga hindi pa nakakaalam. Extension means that if you have 8 hours shift on that day, if you have extensions, iahati-hati yun na may madadagdag na hours sa shift mo. So, ayun, hindi naman tayo perfect. May mga katangahan moments din naman tayo. Of course, extensions ako. Noong experience ko, I was given a 3-day extension. Wow! 3-day ba yun? 2-day extension. Um, because I almost broke a machine. Bro, <laughs> kama shit sa katangahan ko. Grabe talaga yun. Nagpapawisan talaga ako kasi akala ko may expel na ako. But isang funny experience since extension ko. Another hospital yun. We were, actually, we were penalized. Penalized ba yung term? Basta penalized for an extension. Kasi hindi daw kami nag-dusting or nag after the shift. Which we did. So, hindi na kami nakipag-argue kasi yung RMT na yung nagsabi. And we just complied with the extension. So, ayun. Unfair talaga yung buhay. But then, 
move on, move on lang talaga pag may time. Pero nakakatuwa talaga yung mga extension moments ko. Ina-enjoy ko siya, promise. Ina-enjoy ko siya. Masaya, mas, mar- mas marami kang matututunan kasi more exposure, kasi more extensions. Also, nakaka-enjoy din sa lab kasi we also have parties. May mga end-term parties kami with our colleagues sa ibang sa ibang school. And nag- nagpa-party kami, may mga Christmas party kami, mga ganon. Hindi nga enjoy ko talaga siya, hindi ko siya tinitake as a burden for me kasi after all those memories, ma-realize mo talaga na dumadaan lang talaga sila sa buhay mo. Oh, charot. <laughs> and I really enjoyed the internship year, especially knowing na graduating na ako at that time. So yes, after the internship, we graduated and finally fulfilled those four-year roller coaster ride with a big smile on our faces. So ayun, graduated with flying colors, boom shakalaka, sobrang saya, natapos na talaga. And next, review the board exam review days wherein i have to figure out kung ano talagang gagawin ko kung magte-take ba ako ng board exam or hindi but then ayun i decided to take the board exam so another month being away from my family and mga barkada ko yung mga ka-roommate ko sa isang dorm and then kami nagtutulungan kami for the board review i'll just make a short story about my board review because i posted a video already about it talking about the experience that i had my board exam story my tips and tricks my the attitudes that you have to maintain during the board exam and jenna sa video na yon. so go check it out if you want after those tiring days of review we claimed ourselves as rmt and at the time i really thought that it was the toughest years that I've had. But you know what really is the hard part of it all? It is deciding on where to go afterwards, which is part of being an adult. I just feel like, where do I go? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to RMT. I don't know what's going to happen to me. So that's it. I've had that thought in mind. I gave myself a year that I can say a gap year to reflect and rest. I didn't regret using that gap year because it was a moment in my life to pause and reflect wherein I had to let go of the things that didn't give me that spark to go through. And then, napaisip din talaga ako kung worth it pa ba? Kakayanin ko ba? I'm not really good at reading piles of books. I still have certain lapses. I feel tanga and I easily get anxious. But then I realized I'm still not satisfied, kaya I will make this incapabilities, inconsistencies, and weakness turn them into strengths and pursue my dream to become a doctor of medicine. Charot yun na. Narealize ko kasi na I was still craving for more self-fulfillment in my life. For me, it's a good feeling na after that I had done all the work for myself, for my family, for my career, and the people around me that supports me, I ultimately wanna say that I made it. Like, I made it. But then at that time, hindi ko pa siya talaga nafe-feel. Pinapahirapan ko pa sarili ko. Oh, saan ka maghihirap? Sa medicine. Charot. <laughs> Charot lang. That's why I said I wanna go to medicine. But then, which school? A bugging thought again, I really expected that I would eventually study in Cinnamon Medicine. I expected na naman. So it was all planned out that I would go there. But then, it just so happened that my parents gave me an opportunity to study in Manila for a new environment and numerous future experiences. It was completely out of my expectations to study there as a provinciana, so I felt intimidated. But I asked myself, why would I feel inferior to a place where it's still part of my country, right? Char but not char, pero totoo, di ba? So I took a big leap. And it prepared for the NMAT, the National Medical Achievement Test. And by the way, I took it twice. I took it twice because the first one, I took it for granted. Tip ko talaga sa inyo na huwag nyo i-take for granted ng NMAT, lalo na if you're aiming for your dream school. Mas, ma- mas maganda kasi pag mataas yung NMAT mo because you have options, options, options. Marami kayong options kung saan school kayo. But unless you are gifted, sana all na lang kaya nyo yung NMAT kahit hindi mag-aaral. Good for you. And ayun, I just 
studied hard for NMAT. So ayun, I chose UERM. I have a video about it again on how I entered there. Ilalagay ko na lang yung video para connected talaga lahat. Ito kasi overview lang. So yes, here we are, the last segment, the medical school ongoing journey. Now we are back to square one wherein I was so innocent and taking a big step into an unknown school wherein I got into with no batchmates, just me. Yes. Back then, I was not into joining a lot of organizations, but then I took another step by being active and participating. And yes, it was fulfilling, pero exhausting. Imagine balancing medicine, being a class officer, and handling organization activities for the first time. So, ayun, nahirapan talaga ako kasi first time ko yun na ginawa ko yun sa buong buhay ko. It was really an eye-opening experience for me. But now that we are in a pandemic, naging isang malaking pasasalamat ko talaga na na-experience ko yun because it taught me that I can still be productive in academics while doing all the extra parts. So, sobrang happy ako na nangyari yun sa akin. Everything has a reason talaga. Ayun, nagkaroon ng pandemic, another adjustment to do. Currently though, I am second year med student in UERM. Looking back, I must say that there are really times na life will test you. But after that, masasabi mo na the sacrifices were really worth it talaga. Hindi ko na nga ma-recall yung particular moment na nahirapan ako kung anong subject yun. But in general, it was worth it. Like all the sacrifices were worth it. Like like serotonin and dopamine quickly flowing through my body after those trying times. Now I'm again in a challenging journey. And you ask me, is it worth it? I say that it will be worth it. That's all. I hope you guys learned a lot sa aking seminar. Char Thanks for listening to my TED Talk uh, and got an overview on what it looks like from my perspective. Becoming a doctor is not really about the prestige or the title itself, but the level of your persistence and passion towards becoming a doctor. Just keep dreaming, my subscribers, and continue to move forward. Thank you so much, guys. It may mean much, pero 2K subscribers na tayo. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for all the love and support. I appreciate it. So feel free to comment down below your thoughts, your curiosities on medical school, medicine, on pre-med, med tech, anything. I got you. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click notification down below to keep you guys updated on my next video. Share this to your friends. Love and mga dog. Stay safe.